Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. I'm always so blessed to think about those that are listening to this podcast and perhaps reading the blog that goes along with it, whatever it happens to be, that mostly that you're just learning the Word of God. You know, the Word of Ray is it's a catchy phrase. I get it, the Word for Today with Ray. Uh, but it's just a means of being able to communicate what God is sharing with me and wants to share with all of us. And so my prayer is that you'll be inspired to read the Word of God on your own and let the Holy Spirit teach you and guide you. He uses people to help teach His Word. He, he made teachers, and uh, that's basically all I am. I'm just used by God uh, and using the things that He has given to me. To share with you. So let's let's go to him in prayer today. He's our true teacher. The Holy Spirit's the one that guides us into truth. And let's ask him to be with us. Heavenly Father, we bless you today and we do thank you for your Holy Spirit, our teacher, who you promised would guide us into all truth and you said he'd empower us to live according to that truth. And that's what we desire today. Lord, we just want to hear from you. And so we ask you to open our hearts and minds, our eyes and our ears to be able to receive from you that which you'd have us to know today. And may we we be able not only to retain it in our knowledge, in our thinking, but also to live it out in our lives. So we bless you today and we thank you for your word. And we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Jesus Travels Over the Sea of Galilee. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 6, and verse 1. The apostle John wrote how Jesus asked the Jewish people who were questioning him, How can you believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that comes from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom you trust. For had you believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, how shall you believe my words? And in chapter 6 and verse 1 of his book, John shared how Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, where we read, After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. The verse reads, After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee. John began with the words, after these things, or behind the questioning and responding to the Jewish leaders, Jesus went over the sea, which means the Son of God, the Savior of mankind, and God incarnate, whose name means Jehovah is salvation, traveled, journeyed, or sailed beyond and to another side of the body of water of Galilee, or pertaining to Galilee, which means circuit and was the body of water and uh, name of a region of northern Palestine, bounded on the north by Syria and on the west by Sidon, Tyre, Ptolemais, and their territories, and the promontory of Carmel, and on the south by Samaria, on the east by the Jordan. John shared how Jesus began to journey along the Sea of Galilee. The verse continues, which is the Sea of Tiberias. John added the words, which is the sea, which means that is the body of water known as of Tiberias, or from the Tiber as river God. John shared how the body of water Jesus journeyed upon was to an area known as the Sea of Tiberias. When we consider John's words in this verse, we discover another time when Jesus was on the move. Jesus traveled from place to place and often relied upon boat travel to get he and his disciples from one side of the Sea of Galilee to the other. He went along the shore of the Sea of Galilee to the area known as the Sea of Tiberias, which was named after Tiberius the emperor. Jesus would minister to more people there, and when we understand he is willing to go anywhere people might be saved, we learn just how passionate he is for people to be forgiven of their sins and live with him forever. Let all who think through these things yield their lives to Jesus who is on the move. Next time, John shares how a great multitude followed him. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.